I'm here to announce uh, the speaker of the program, uh, Ustad Ivan Sage. He is from Chennai, India, and uh, he does program on word for word translation of the glorious Quran. He's been running this program for about 25 years, and uh, he's here visiting viewers, different cities, and different masajid to spread the message. And also, he has a program schedule that you can do online. Uh, it's a weekly basis uh, running. Yeah, you can do the So. Inshallah, within any few days, we'll go ahead and start. Alhamdulillah, I love you. I salatu wa salam ala masulihi al-ameen wa alihi wa ashabi ajmain ila yawmin din. Qala Allah ta'ala fi al-Quran al-Majid, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Inna hazihi al-taskira. فَمَنْ شَاءَ اتَّخَذَ إِلَى رَبِّهِ سَبِيلًا صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الَّذِي يُنَزِيمُ رَبِّ شَعْلِي صَدْرِ وَيَسِّرْ لِي أَمْرِي وَأَهْلُ لُقْدَةً مِنْ لِسَانِي يَفْقَوُ قُلِمْ اللهم صَدِعَ لَا سَيْدِنَا مُحْمَدِ وَلَا لِسَيْدِنَا مُحْمَدِ وَبَالِكَ سَبِيلًا Respected elders and the management of this masjid As-salamu alaykum and the Musallis brothers and sisters As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and I'm coming here for the first time. As it is my first visit to Chicago itself, I've been to several other cities, but Allah SWT has given me an opportunity to come to your city here and meet all of you. May Allah accept our efforts and endeavors, for I just come only solely for the Book of Allah, to create an awareness among the brothers and sisters about understanding the Quran. Most important is to understand the Quran. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, this subject of the Quran is a very common subject and whatever I'm going to speak to you is something you would have already heard about it but at the same time we need constant reminders keep reminding reminders always benefit the believers and therefore in my tour to US the first city which I visited now is Chicago. Inshallah, next week I'll be going to Phoenix and then to San Francisco and then to Dallas, etc. Brothers and sisters, we are truly honored and we need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a million times that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us, created us among the Muslim Ummah. We didn't have to go and search for the truth. Allah SWT provided us Islam from the womb of our mothers. From the time of conception itself, we became part of the Muslim community. And Allah SWT had been very kind and gracious to all of us that we brought, we were brought up in Muslim homes where our parents groomed us and fostered Islamic values within us and guided us and brought us to this age and to this level. May Allah SWT bless them all and of those who have passed away among our parents, may Allah grant them forgiveness and admit them in the Jannah to Shudos. Ameen. And of those parents who are still alive, may Allah bless them and give them a long and healthy life. Ameen. <coughs> All of us, Alhamdulillah, recite the Quran. There is nobody, I am sure, in this audience, both brothers and sisters, who do not keep in touch with the Quran. Alhamdulillah, all of us do recite the Quran. And in this Maghrib Salah, this young small boy has recited the verses of the Quran in both the first rakat and the second rakat in the Maghrib Salah just now. How many of us could even know from which surah were these verses? Or what was that which Allah was communicating to us while He was reciting those verses before us? Two questions I've asked you. First question is, how many of us do know from which surah were these verses recited? And the second question is, how many of us could understand the meaning of those verses which this young boy recited when he performed the Maghrib Salah and we were all standing behind and listening? To be very honest, without embarrassing anyone, I am sure most of us do not understand the meaning of these verses. Am I right? If I'm wrong, please correct me. Barring a few, the majority of us 
did not understand the meaning of what was being conveyed to us through the verses which he recited. One month back, I mean just last month, the month of Ramadan just passed. 30 days, Alhamdulillah, religiously we came and performed the Tarawih and we heard from the Hafiz the entire Quran. Am I right? 30 nights we came for Tarawih and right from Surah Fatiha to Surah Nas we heard the complete Quran. At the end of the 30th night, if anyone would ask, what is the take home message or what did you understand from what you heard the complete Quran? I am sure most of, the, most of us would show blank faces and say, sorry, we did not know what the meaning was, but we performed the Salah. You get your rewards for performing the Taraweeh. There is absolutely no second opinion about that. But is it fair on our part to hear something which none other than Allah, our Creator, is communicating to us and at the end of the day we are telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sorry we did not know what you conveyed to us. Is it right brothers and sisters? Please answer me this question. Keep your hand on your heart and answer this question. Apna gareban mein jhankar thoda hum ko jo hai is baat ka hitisab karna chahiye ke hum jo kuch padhe hain ya sunhe hain Ramzan mein Quran humne kya samjha? Aksar o Beshtar ka yehi jawab hoga ke hum nahi samaj mein aaya lekin hum khade rahe namaz padhte hoye. If I speak to you in some language you cannot understand, will you be able to be there in front of me? You won't even be there for a few seconds and say, sorry brother, I can't understand this language what you are speaking and you just walk away. And have you in your lifetime read any book? Forget a book, even a paragraph, forget a paragraph in one verse of a language which you cannot understand. But Allah knew this Muslim Ummah will do that. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Afala yatadabbarun al-Qurana amala khulu bin akhfaduha. Why did these people do not ponder over the verses of the Quran? Understand the meaning of the Quran. Reflect upon the verses which I have revealed. What is preventing them from understanding the verses of the Quran? Are there locks in their hearts? Kya unke dil pe khatale pade huwa hai? Kis baat? Allah asks this question. Any book that we read, it's implied that we know it. We know its meaning. But we know Allah knew that we will do gross disservice to this particular book. And that's why Allah says, why don't they understand the book of Allah? Why don't they ponder and reflect over the verses of the Allah? And you find these verses plenty of times repeated in the Quran. La Allah kum taqilon, la Allah kum tazakkaron, la Allah kum talamon. Have you come across this? So that you may understand, so that you may pay heed, so that you may seek admonition, so that you may use your intellect, so that you may know. Inna anzalna Quran an Arabiya la Allah kum taakhirun. We have revealed this Quran in Arabic so that you may use your intellect and understand what I am conveying to you. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking us to look into the verses, understand it, ponder and reflect. And if we are not going to do it, will Allah not question us on the day of Qiyamah? Please understand this gravity of the situation. Will Allah not question us? You had all the time in the world to study so many books to acquire so many degrees and professions, which is not right, you should. There is no second opinion about it. But the only book which you did not get time to study and understand is the Quran. Will Allah not ask us this question? Sochiyaka. Okay, if you are dumb people, illiterates, maybe Allah may excuse us. Like Alhamdulillah, I am sure all of you who live in this part of the world, which is the most, one of the most advanced countries of the world, all of you are qualified. All of you have sound intellect. Allah SWT has blessed us with good intelligence. We understand so many things around us. Even the latest technology and the software and the language of the software and everything. What difficult it is to understand the language of the Quran. When Allah Himself says, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرَانَ لِلْزِّكَرْ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُنْتَكِرْ And certainly we have made easy the Quran to understand. Is there anybody who would seek admonition? Allah is asking. Hamne yakinan is Quran ko asan banaya samajne ke liye. Kya hai tumme se koi nasiyat hasil karne wala? 
कि हम अल्लाह को बोलेंगे हम नसीहत हासिल करना नहीं चाहते तकरीबन यही मतलब है एंड वी आर अल्लाह सॉरी वी डोंट हैव टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड योर बुक दैट्स व्हाट एक्जैक्टली इट मींस इन डायरेक्टली दिस इज द आंसर वी आर गिविंग अल्लाह सुभान व तआला लेट्स फियर अल्लाहस क्वेश्चंस व्हिच ही विल पुट फॉर बिफोर अस ऑन द डे ऑफ कयामत ऑन द डे ऑफ अकाउंटेबिलिटी दीस आर सम ऑफ द फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चंस व्हिच अल्लाह इज गोइंग टू आस्क व्हाट आंसर डू वी हैव टू गिव इट टू हिम आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू फ्राइटन यू बट द सर फैक्ट्स दीस आर द बेसिक फैक्ट्स एंड फंडामेंटल इश्यूज and allah subhanahu wa taala has made this book the quran a blessed book full of blessings iske sath tum apna rishta jod lo tumhari duniya mein nahi aakhir bhi ban jayegi you connect yourself with the book of allah duniya aur aakhir both will become successful allah guarantees success not only in this world but also in the hereafter the whole equation of the world will change aaj jo hum halaat dekh rahe hain hamara dil rota hai खून के आंसू बहाने की तकरीबन नौबत आ गई है कि आर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स आर बीइंग बुचर्ड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड दे हैव बिकम विक्टिम्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन एंड इनजस्टिस आई डोंट हैव टू इलेबोरेट यू नो एवरीथिंग दिस इज द पैथेटिक सिनेरियो ऑफ द मुस्लिम वर्ल्ड एंड वी आर सर्चिंग फॉर सोल्यूशन ऑल ओवर वेन खुरान इज गिविंग अस द सोल्यूशन एंड से यू वॉन्ट डिग्निटी यू वॉन्ट ऑनर यू वॉन्ट गवर्नेंस यू वॉन्ट अथॉरिटी You want success? Connect yourself to the Book of Allah. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam began as a lone individual, inviting the people towards Islam by, by reciting the verses of the Quran. Wallahi the Baza fil Ummi na Rasoolam minhum yatwalim ayatihi wa yuzakhihim wa yuallim hum al Kitab wa al Hikma wa in kano min qabdu la fi dalali mubin. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, We sent the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam towards you. Uh, he was born. Uh, he was unlettered himself. and allah subhanahu wa taala says one among you would sell allah created and made a prophet in order that he may present before you the verses of the quran yatlu alaihim ayatihi he would recite the verses of the quran before you when you zakki him and he will transform your personalities when you allimuhum al kitab wal hikma and he will teach them wisdom and his practices and his sunnah before you This is the best sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is to convey the message of the Quran before the people and the word which Allah uses yatlu alaihim ayatihi the word tilawa in arabic is not like the urdu tilawa ab quran ki tilawat kar rahe hain nahi is the bada comprehensive terminology hai quran mein iska matlab hai quran ko padhna samajhna amal karna gaur aur fikr karna aur tak is baat ko pahunchana ye sab cheeze jo hai yatlu ke andar aa jati hain to recite to understand to follow and implement to ponder and reflect and to convey this message to the world at large kon karega ye kaam bataiye will angels come down and do this work no angels allah will send to help us in promoting the good and forbidding the evil through the quran but angels are not going to do this work who is going to do it then is there any prophet going to come after the beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam no is there any other book of guidance going to be revealed no this is the last and final book of guidance sent from the last and final messenger prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and after this the collective responsibility of conveying the message of the quran and the teachings of islam lies on whose shoulders brothers and sisters answer me lies on our weak shoulders because allah has called us the khair e ummah the best nation allah has given us labels like ummat e wasat the balanced community allah has given us the label of shuhada al nas who translate the teachings of the quran and put them into action ye jo hai bade bade alqab allah ne humko diya hai but are we doing justice to these labels prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said inna allah yarfa'u bi hadhal kitab aqwaman wa yazahu bihi akhirin verily allah subhanahu wa taala will raise the nations on the basis of this quran and will brought bring about the downfall of the nations on the basis of the quran jin logon ne quran ke sath taluq mazboot kiya aur joda allah jo hai aise ummaton ko aur aise qaumon ko uruj par le jata hai aur jahan pe log tark karte hain quran ko unka zawal shuru ho jata hai aaj hamara zawal nahi hai to kya hai today we are in such a deplorable state what is the reason brothers and sisters It is the disconnection of our lives with the Quran. 
to study the Quran, to recite the Quran with good tajweed, to do hifz of the Quran, Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah. There are tremendous rewards and virtues for it. There is absolutely no second opinion about it. And blessed be those parents who have trained their children to become Hafiz of the Quran. But the larger point which I want to make is that's not the end of it. And let the parents not be satisfied that my child is a Hafiz of the Quran. Alhamdulillah, Allah will bless you, Allah will give you the best rewards. But in order that our children Iman should be protected and safeguarded. Then we have to make them understand the teachings of the Quran. That is where their Iman can be safeguarded and protected. Because once you start understanding the meaning of the Quran, Allah will generate the fear of Allah in your hearts. Taqwa aur parezdari tumhare dil ke andar aajayegi. Uske baad dunya ki koi taqat bhi aapko gumra nahi kar sakegi. Nothing in the world after that can take you away from the strat, Sirat al Mustaqim because we ourselves have asked for Sirat al Mustaqim minimum 17 times in a day. Eh dena Sirat al Mustaqim, eh dena Sirat al Mustaqim. Namaz mein padte na? Kam se kam, if we take the farads of the salah, 17 times we recite Surah Fajr, Surah Fajr, eh dena Sirat al Mustaqim. Two in the farads of the Fajr, I'm talking only of the farads, huh? four of the Zohar, four of the Asr. Three of the Maghrib and four of the Isha. That's minimum one seven, seventeen times. Iske lava we perform Sunnah, Wajib, Naf, Nawafil, etc. Kam se kam bista pachis par to hamsure fatiya parde nahi parde. Bata hiye. Minimum twenty to twenty five times. Every day we are asking Allah guide us to the straight path, guide us to the straight path, guide us to the straight path. Ab mere ko pani ki pyaas lagi mai bola. Kabir bhai please give me a bottle, glass of water. He brings and places the glass of water, a bottle of water in front of me. Again, I'm telling him, get me a glass of water. He'll say, see, I've already brought you. Okay, you maybe you want one more glass. I'll bring one more glass and give it to you. Yeah? Tisri bar puja to, thoda doubt aega. What is this person saying? Again, he'll oblige, okay, guest hai. Ab itta pooch na hai, la ke aur ek bheen aur glass raat dhe hai. Mai agar 20 bar aisa bolte raho aur paani na piyo to soche ga, what will you think about me? That's a very fundamental question I'm asking you. 20 times if I keep saying, get me a glass of water, get me a glass of water, get me a glass of water. Either I do not know what I am saying, which means I may be senile, thoda nut close rehega mera. Ya, aap kamai wakht zaya kar raho, ya. Either something is wrong with me or I am wasting your time are making mockery of you. Do me say, aap ka maza kuda rao, ya kuch mere mein kamzori hai, koi problem hai. Hai na? Yehi haal hai hamara. Twenty times in our day, we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, guide us to the straight path, guide us to the straight path. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you ask for guidance, the entire Quran from Surah Bakra to Surah Nas is there for your guidance. Maantte to hai hidayat, lekin Allah ne jab hidayat ka sarchashma hamara saamne hai, रख दिया हम खोल कर पढ़ने को तैयार नहीं है तो इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि हम इसके लायक नहीं है कि जो है अल्लाह ने इतनी बड़ी जो है दौलत हमें दिया है हम इसका फायदा नहीं उठा रहे अल्लाह इस गिवन अ सच अ ग्रेट प्रेजर आई एम यू नॉट मेकिंग यूज ऑफ इट इन अदर वर्ड्स आल्सो वी आर मेकिंग मॉकरी ऑफ द टीचिंग्स ऑफ द कुरान बाय नॉट कनेक्टिंग अससेस टू द बुक ऑफ अल्लाह थिंक सीरियसली अबाउट दिस मैटर वी आर आस्किंग अल्लाह फॉर हिदायत एंड अल्लाह इज प्रोवाइडिंग अस द हिदायत and you are not prepared to take it. We are hearing the verses of the Quran, but we are not able to understand where they are there from. In the first rakat, that little boy who beautifully recited where they are from, the last verses of Surah Al-Imran. And the second rakat, he recited from the last verses of Surah Juma. What moving ayats. Every ayat of the Quran can create a revolutionary impact in our lives, provided we understand. إنما المؤمنون الذين إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم وإذا تليت عليهم آياته زادتهم إيمانا وعلى ربهم يتوكلون. The true believers are those Allah says the true believers. Such a moment who are when Allah's name is mentioned or the verses of the Quran are recited, their hearts tremble out of fear. Their hearts tremble out of fear. And their iman increases. Their iman is increased. 
and their trust and faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies. Wala rabbihim ya tawakkalun. Or Allah, wada ula sharik par unka iman or unka tawakkal bada jata hai. Sahaba ne bhi johi yehi Quran pada na. This was the same Quran which even the Sahabas connected themselves. Why was such a big transformation in their lives? The same Quran is available with us. Why are when the transformation not taking place now? There's something grossly missing. Ab namaz bhi khade hota hai, charon taraf dimag ghumta hai. Lad aurde hai to mai bawa chikane mein kya rakhi ho? Fridge mein mai kal ne ye saala rakh diya tha. Ab utha ke kisi ko de dena ya koi cheez pakki nahi hai, usme jaake foran pakana. I'm just joking. This is it's a fact. Let's face it. If they are meant for, I have to make a phone call to my friend. I forgot after the namaz I should do it. Yeah, I can check book. I need to have fallan to sign. Can give you a warrant check. Sign can give you. Didn't have. Didn't have. One payment. I had. I had. I forgot. 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 I Injured in the battles, or a bullet, or some injury used to take place. The injury used to be treated while the Sahaba used to perform the salah because in a state of salah, it was like anesthesia given to them. They were in a different world altogether. Dunya mein is nahi rehte the wo log. Or unke surgeries, or unke treatment jo hai, unke namaz ke dauran par kya jata tha? Kyunki unko pata na chale iska iski taklif jab un par maramat ki jati thi. वो तो कि एक और दुनिया में उनको चले जाते थे उनके नमाज में क्या खुशू और फजू था उनको पता भी नहीं कि दुनिया में आजू बाजू क्या हो रहा है उनके पूरे दिमाग फोकस्ड है आयत कुरान के जब पढ़े जा रहे हैं उनके सामने यकीन फलाह पा गए वो ईमान वाले जिन्होंने नमाजों में खुशू और खुजू इख्तियार किया सर्टनली है been successful those believers who performed the salah with fear and humility and concentration do we have anything of that sort because we do not know what is being communicated and what allah is speaking to us but the moment you start connecting yourself with what allah is communicating to us we will forget the world fir ek ghanta tumhari tarah aisa lagega ki 10 minute mein khatam ho gayi aur dil chahega and you will like the half is to continue and you will not see the ghadiyal अरे आज दो मिनट ज्यादा पढ़ लिया हजरत टेन ओ क्लॉक इज सपोज टू कम्प्लीट टूडे इट वेंट ऑफ टू टेन टू हजरत जरा कम कर लिया हजरत तुम्हें दो मिनट ज्यादा पढ़ डाले आज में जरा टाइम जरा मेंटेन कर लियो फौरन आ जाता कम्प्लीट बेचारे हाफिज क्या करेंगे स्पीड पढ़ना शुरू करते हैं स्पीड में पढ़े तो समझ में नहीं आएगा हमने तो जो है कुरान का खिलवाड़ किया है सच कुछ पूछे तो बर्फ की जगह बर्फ की तरह घुल जाएगा वक्त थोड़ा कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अगर हमें आ जाए आंखों से आंसू जारी हो जाएंगे दिल लड़जेगा एक अजीब सी कैफियत आपके अंदर महसूस होगी आप थोड़ा इसका मजा लेकर देखिएगा इसका लुत्फ आपको उसी वक्त में मिलेगा जब कुरान को आप समझ के पढ़ने वाले बन जाए आज जैसे द टेस्ट ऑफ द पुडिंग इज इन इट्स ईटिंग समीर भाई पुडिंग बोलते ही खुश हो गए बीवी नहीं बनाती वो इट्स नॉट इनफ फॉर टूमोरो फंक्शन सो दे आफ्टर टूमोरो में भी The revolutionary impact the Quran can create in our lives and in our hearts—the moment we start understanding the Quran—is a very mammoth effect. Take it from me, no exaggeration. At every step of your life, Quran will give you clarity. It will give you direction. It will tell you what to do, what not to do. It will become a protective shield for you against all satanic temptations and against your nafs. These are two big enemies. Remember. एक तो नफ्स जो हमारे अंदर है और जो बाहर है शैतान ने हमें जाल फैला के रखा है कैसे भी हमें फंसाने की कोशिश करता है हमको कुरान से दूर रखने की कोशिश करेगा नेवर अलाउ हिम टू सक्सेस वन इज द नफ्स व्हिच ऑलवेज वांट्स अस टू बी इन अ कंफर्ट लेवल अरे कहां से एक नया एक कमिटमेंट ले लेते जाके कुरान क्लास में जाके बैठ जाएंगे आप 40 मिनट इतने सारे काम छोड़ के सो मेनी कमिटमेंट्स ऑफिस कमिटमेंट घर का कमिटमेंट बच्चे को पॉट फुटबॉल मैच को लेके जाना है टूर्नामेंट को बच्चे को ट्यूशन को लेके जाना है ये प्रोग्राम है वो प्रोग्राम है घर का काम है दिस दैट कहां से तुम गो एंड सिट ऑन द 40 मिनट्स 
ओ फॉरगेट ऑल दैट जो कुछ करे गए नमाज पढ़े अल्लाह अल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम करो चलो चलो जाते रहो ये एडिशनल रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज ऑफ लेने का नहीं है शैतान हमें भेका है बिकॉज़ ही डज नॉट वांट अस टू कम नियर द कुरान बिकॉज़ इसको मालूम कुरान के अंदर आ गए हम लोग उससे एक साथी हाथ से निकल गया एंड ही विल नॉट स्पेयर यू ही विल सम ऑफ द अदर मेक श्योर दैट इवन इफ यू हैव कनेक्टेड विद द कुरान ही विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू कंटिन्यू until you become a dropout don't allow him to succeed inna shaitana lakum aduwwu mubin shaitan is your open enemy did not he bring us bring our parents out of paradise from day one hamare jo walidain hain adam alai salam aur hawa alai salam ko day one unhone kya kiya he brought them out of paradise jhoot bol kar what did he tell them an takuna malakaini o takuna min al khalidin You know why Allah is telling you not to go and eat the fruit from the forbidden tree because you will both become angels and you will become immortals. That's why Allah is saying, "Shoot, bola." Adam alayhi salam and Hawa alayhi salam became his victims, and what happened after that, you all know. But again, they did dua, got back to Allah subhanahu wa taala, sincerely repented, repented, and Allah subhanahu wa taala forgave their sins. Likewise, Shaitan will always try to distract us. He will tell us. Don't get into all these issues. What Islam little you know, go ahead with that. Don't take additional responsibilities. But on the day of Kiyama, he will turn around and say, "Wahala Shaitan Allah ma khuzi Allah ma." The Shaitan will say, and Allah will pronounce the verdict on the day of Kiyama. Inna Allah wada kum bad al haq. Really, what Allah promised you, He promised you correctly. वो वाहत तो कुम फाखलफ तो कुम but what I promised you I failed you वो माँ का नली अलैकु मिन सुल्तान but I did not have any authority over you इल्ला अन दावत तो कुम first तो जब तुम ली सिवाय के मायने तुम्हें दावत दी तुम जो है मेरी बात मान लिए I only invited you towards worldly matters towardly worldly pleasures and other activities and you responded to me फलात अल्लाह मुनी वालों मान फुसु कुम do not blame me today blame yourself Allah gave you the intellect Allah clearly told you I was a, I was an open enemy to you. Why did you listen to me? Allah ne tumhe aaga kiya na? Is shaitan ke phatte mein mat aao. Wo makkar hai. Wo tumhe seedha rasta ikhtiyar karne ko nahi dega. Bola na Allah tumhare aqal kaam ki puchhe na shaitan kya hum hum ulta puchega tumhari aqal kaam ki thi. What answer will we have? Ye fani duniya hai bhai sahab. This world will end. Every day, even yesterday we saw a janaza. Even Friday, yesterday Friday, every day somebody or the other is passing away. When is going to be your turn or when is going to be my turn? We do not know. Dunya mein aaj hai, kal nikal jayenge. Ye fani dunya ko piche chhod ke chale jayenge. Allah will ask. Certainly, you have come to us. Kama khalaf na kuma wala mara as we created you for the first time. وَتَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَا لَكُمْ إِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا تَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَا لَكُمْ إِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا تَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَا لَكُمْ إِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا تَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَا لَكُمْ إِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا تَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَا لَكُمْ إِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا تَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَا لَكُمْ إِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا تَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَا لَكُمْ إِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا تَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَا لَكُمْ إِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَ وما هذه الحياة الدنيا إلا الله ولاه وإن الدار الآخرة لا هي الحيوان لو كانوا يعلمون this world is nothing but a play and past time ये सिर्फ खेल और तमाशा है drama है the king and the poor man sorry the king and the pawn go into the same box game of chess you know the king king जो होता है ना chess में and the pawn at the end of the game what happens they go into the same box so today somebody may be a king somebody may be a president somebody may be a prime minister and they may be an ordinary employee but ultimately the earth in which we live will become our roof tomorrow the earth on which we live today will become our roof tomorrow hum jis zameen par chal rahe hain wo hamara chhat ban jayega khabar mein hai na that is the reality Has anybody remained an immortal? Not even the prophets. Kullu nafsin zayifa tul maut. Every soul will have to taste death. Nobody is going to be spared. Let us 
take the seriousness of the eternal life and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned us akhir ye dunya kya hai khatam hone wali hai lekin jo paydaar aur daimi jo zindagi hai wo eternal life hai that's eternal life how much are we preparing for that ya ayyuhal ladina amanu taqullaha wal tanzuru nafsu ma qaddamat lighat o be those who believe let's see every soul what it has sent for its tomorrow kal ke din ke liye wo kya tosha taiyar karke bhej rahe hain what are we preparing for the hereafter with all our 24 hours going only behind this world and this world and worldly commitments what are you preparing for yourself for the hereafter which is an eternal life that time should not be a moment of regret kaash mai waqt zara din ke liye diya hota kaash mai quran ke sath taluq rakha hota to aaj mera quran mere liye sifarish ban kar mujhe jannat mein dakhla kar deta jaise kitne logon ko sifarish kar ke jannat ko dakhla kar raha hai kaash mai quran ke sath rishta jod leta to meri aakhirat bhi ban jati aur main bhi jannat ke andar chala jata ye jo hai hamare liye hasraton ka waqfa ban jaye when we will see many people whom the quran will recommend and allah will accept the, his its recommendation and send many people into jannat we should not be among those may allah protect us if only we also had connected with the book this quran would have interceded on our behalf also and admitted us into paradise what a golden opportunity we left behind in this world though it was provided on a platter to us so sochiega don't say acha baat ke lecture bada acha tha bayan acha tha i am not come to brag and boast and learn this name and go sorry the happy moment for me and i will consider the success of this program if all of you inshallah will sign up for these quran classes for which i have come all the way from india show some level of seriousness show some level of commitment and you are all alhamdulillah practicing muslim because you have come even for the maghrib to perform salah in the congregation which shows there is a deep sense and love of the of islam in your hearts that's what you have come for congregational prayer even at the maghrib salah on a saturday evening you are the chosen people of allah whom allah gave you the hidayah to sit at least to seek some admonition about the quran but don't but take it further and be those blessed people who connect themselves to the book of allah we have created a a platform where we will teach you the language of the quran so that as you read the quran or recite the quran or hear the verses of the quran you will be able to understand the meaning as well and that's what is called word for word translation of the quran every word we will teach you the meaning we will tell you what it means what this ayat means and when the surah begins what was the background of this surah what was the historical context in which this surah was revealed in which period was this surah revealed what are what is the contents of this surah what is the summarized view of this entire surah and whether this surah was revealed in makkah or madina those details also will be provided to you and day by day as you keep attending the classes gradually your knowledge of the quran will increase your connectivity with the quran will improve and your relationship with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also grow by the day and inshallah very soon you will find yourself on a different level altogether and that will be the moment you will really relish and dua dua for me also as well inshallah so this is the pamphlet we have which is the word for word translation of the quran inshallah brother samit will distribute to you and also to the sisters we have the classes both for gents and ladies and this is an online class but there is a huge fees for it huh? इसके लिए आपको जो है बहुत बड़ा देना पड़ेगा देंगे नहीं देंगे क्या भाई आप हंस रहे हैं क्यों क्या हुआ देंगे ना इनशाला कितना देंगे कितने डॉलर्स देंगे बताइए हाउ मच वी फिक्स शेयर भाई थाउजेंड डॉलर्स और टू थाउजेंड डॉलर्स विदाउट द सिस्टर्स एट लीस्ट हाउ मनी दे हाउ मच टू थाउजेंड और थ्री थाउजेंड डॉलर्स वॉट सिस्टर्स हाउ मच विल यू पे एस फॉर गिविंग यूर दिस कोर्स for providing you this course yeah sisters <clears throat> will not charge you a penny ek paisa aapke paas hai nahi lenge bilkul muft because i look for the rewards from allah so not alone from you wa ma asalukum alayhi min ajr in ajriya illa ala rabbil alamin every prophet told the respective communities 
we do not want any money or any reward from you. All are rewards with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the Lord of the worlds. Aap log kya denge? Aur aap denge to bhi mai kya le jaun ga khabar mein? Everything I leave behind. Why should I take something which I am going to leave behind? That will be absolute foolishness on my part. Let me get something which will come to me in the grave, which will come to me on the day of Qiyamah. And that is the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this course is absolutely free of cost. Absolutely free of cost. And only four days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Every day, how many minutes does Allah give us? Quickly, you all young boys, tell me. How many minutes we have every day? 24 hours into 60 minutes. Am I right? What's that? 1440 minutes. Correct? 1440 minutes. Samir, we will have a calculation. 1440 minutes every day we get free of cost from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No top up. Phone ka khatam ho gaya, foreign message ata. Your connection will go if you do not top up. Hai na? Yeah, no top up. Free of cost, Allah gives 1440 minutes every day to us. The moment we get up in the morning. And how many minutes am I asking you for the Quran? 40 minutes. 1440 men, 40 minutes. 1400 minutes you keep for yourself. 1400 minutes, how many minutes do you have? 40 minutes out of 1440. Even that we will not be able to spare to study Islam. And for 40 minutes, the Shaitan who has given us the word, that even that will become difficult for us. And that too only four days a week, huh? not even seven days a week, four days a week. Dunya banegi, akhirat banegi, take it from me, I am very serious. Aap ko sirf link bhejenge, aap register karenge, isme jo hai pure details hai, aap ko bheje hai, usme jo hai aapka QR code scan karen, register karen, 29th, May ko inshallah, humare nahi batch shuru hoti. We have already completed two batches for US. Two batches for US have already been over. This is the third batch. So, our students, one of them is here, Brother Abdul Rahman Salifa is here. Many like him said, no, no, you should come for a tour to US and get more number of students so that we can start a new batch afresh inshallah. And that is what compels me to leave all my commitments back home when I have come here. I am to a businessman. I left behind all my business my work completely for one full month. May Allah SWT reward me. I don't believe in exaggerating or speaking anything about myself. May Allah give me the best rewards. But my only fees that I want to ask from you is your commitment. Will you give inshallah? Whoever seeks guidance from the Quran is actually benefiting his, her, his self or herself. Agar hidayat tum paaloge, to tumhara bhala ho jayega. As we are sitting here together, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also keep us together in paradise, inshallah. And that's the ultimate objective for every believer that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should forgive our sins and admit us into paradise and save us from the hellfire. That's the only objective and dua every time we do to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But will that just be given to us by doing to us? Will we not be able, will we not take any efforts for it? Is it a koshish nikarenge? Allah khud farmata hai. Allah dina jahalu fina lana hadiya namsu ko lana wain dallaha lana al mosinin. Those who strive hard in our way, we shall open up avenues for them and make things easy for them. And such people who take efforts in the path of Islam, Allah calls them as mosinin, the good doers. And Allah says, wain dallaha lana al mosinin. Allah is there with such good doers. When Allah is there with us, what do we need to fear about? It's just a question of taking a little effort. And after that, Allah takes over. But Allah wants you to take the initiative. So, one step is not going to be able to do anything. One step is going to be able to do something. One step is going to be able to do something. So, you go and go and go and go. I'm sure I have conveyed what I have to convey to you. It's an opportunity which Allah has given us to study the book of Allah so that we understand the meaning of the Quran and live by it and convey this message to others. Inshallah, this program starts on 29th of May. I request all of you to sign up. And inshallah be part of this exercise and we will have it for four days a week. This we will take you right from Surah Fatiha to Surah Nas. 
right from Surah Fatiha to Surah Nas, completely from cover to cover. It will take approximately, this is a 200 hours course. Those who take a course here, 200 hours course, which roughly should span, since we are doing only 40 minutes per session, it's only going to be four days in a week. So that will be approximately 16 to 17 months. So inshallah, May and matlab, June se first se shuru kiye bito jo hai, by November of 2025, we will be completing the Quran. And this Ramzan, jo hoswa, jo huaswa hua, whatever has gone, has gone. But at least, inshallah, by the time the next Ramzan of 2025 comes, you will be far more in a different position altogether to start understanding the verses of the Quran. And then you will find a different kind of a tarawi which you have never experienced all your life. No exaggeration, this is the fact. And you truly want to enjoy your salah. If you truly want to think about a transformation in your lives, there's nothing better than the Quran. And last point which I want to mention is, I just missed it there. Make sure that our children and the next generation are empowered with the teachings of the Quran. When I say teachings of the Quran, it also includes the life of the beloved Prophet Don't just stop and feel proud that my child has become a Hafiz. Alhamdulillah. May Allah reward you for it. But make sure that his Iman gets protected by allowing him to study and understand the meaning of the Quran. Sit with your entire family just for 40 minutes. Your house will become an abode, a paradise. Today, how many issues are there? There is depression, there is anxiety, there is fear, there is vengeance, there is hatred, there is ill will, there is rancor, there is jealousy, there is envy, there is hypocrisy, there is stress, there is hypertension. You name it, everything is there today. Har khisam ka khauf, har khisam ki pareshani, har ghar mein hai. Ilaj kaha milega? Quran hi mein milega. Once you connect yourself with the Quran, after that you don't have to fear anybody and fear anybody in the world. After that you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there to take care of me. This Quran will give you that courage and that strength to overcome difficulties and challenges. Everybody goes through challenges and difficulties. But many people fail in overcoming them. But the Quran will give you that strength to overcome it. And you yourself will be surprised how solutions came to you. All these are some of the inputs which I wish to share with you. I thank you profusely from the bottom of my heart for listening to this lecture. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept whatever I have said and enable me and grant us all the tawfiq to understand the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to make the best use of this opportunity which is being offered to you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us, keep us well protected against the enemies of Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help our brothers of Palestine. May Allah grant me to the Mujahideen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard our women and children who are being butchered day in and day out, both in Palestine and Gaza. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring peace in the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant dignity, honor and success to the believers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to convey the message to others. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala either destroy the enemies of Islam or grant them the tawfiq to accept Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our duas. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this session. May Allah grant us the hidayah and the tawfiq to connect ourselves and strengthen our relationship with the Quran that we may gain success both in this world and the hereafter. Amin. Wa akhir dawana. And alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you have any questions regarding this course, if you have anything to ask further regarding this subject which I spoke, you're most welcome for five minutes. I can wait for you. If at all, if there's anything, otherwise we will wind up. I leave it to you. I think we'll have a few questions. Sir. Yeah, it's open. If there's a mic for the sisters there, mic. Yeah, they have they a mic? Okay. We'll start with the sisters if they have any questions. Any questions, no problem. Sisters, any questions? You have the mic, you have to switch it on before you talk. Assalamu alaikum, I do have a question. Um, is the program going to be all in English or it's uh, going to be... It's going to be both in English and Urdu, inshallah. Okay, English you. and Urdu, yeah. Okay, Jazak. Okay, brothers, we'll go all together. When they don't ask questions, it gives me a little worry, you know, either... They fully understood or they didn't. Or they didn't understand, yeah. <laughs> he has a question. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum I have one question for the lectures. I'm curious if any of them are recorded in case we miss one or the other. Uh, in case you miss some session out of some genuine reason, yeah? See, nothing like being in the live session. But then, so many things are there in life. Emergencies may arise. There may be some travel. Or there could be some genuine reason why you could not attend the class, yeah? Point number one is, don't worry. The moment you are free, a day later, 
or two days later or even a week later come back to the class don't ever think are itne classes chhod gaye na so many classes i have missed no by the time i go i will not catch up so forget it no don't do that you know shaitan is very smart in the name of maghrib sala with the next use of isha sala or with the next use of umrah i can get you a drop out of the class tumhari language mein baat karta hu अरे तुम नमाज को छोड़ दोगे क्या फर्ज नमाज क्लास चल रही तो परवा नहीं क्लास चलेगी नमाज छोड़ दोगे क्या धीरे एक दिन क्लास को नहीं आएंगे आप नॉट आई एम सेइंग लीव द सलाह एंड सिट फॉर माय क्लास आई डोंट मीन टू से दैट फर्ज नमाज पढ़ने के लिए कितना टाइम लगता टेन मिनट्स है ना आने जाने के लिए मे बी अनदर फाइव फाइव मिनट्स ट्वेंटी मिनट्स क्लास इज देर फॉर फिफ्टी मिनट फोर्टी फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स टेन मिनट्स नो प्रॉब्लम फिनिश एंड कम बैक एंड ज्वाइन द क्लास अगेन But let this not be an excuse for you not to be a part of the class, or let this not be an excuse for you become a dropout. Ab umra jaate log, but when are you coming back? Pandra din lag jayenge usta lani ko. Mere ko zabra nishe ho jati hai. Ab ye pandra din ke baad shay khate nahi aate malum nahi. Ab 15 days hoon to aake thak ke unko kuch khajur ki zam zam pi ke settle hone ko ek pandra din lag jate. Kitne din hoga? 20. 20 din hoga. बीस दिन अब कहा बीस दिन कहा की चले गए रहेंगे ना छोड़ो यार क्या ऐसा क्योंकि पैसे नहीं दे ना कमिटमेंट नहीं है ना गया तो जाता इन द नेम ऑफ एन उमरा ही गॉट यू आउट ऑफ द कुरान क्लास विद एन एक्सक्यूज ऑफ द सला ही गॉट यू आउट ऑफ द कुरान क्लास हाउ स्मार्ट यू मन वी थिंक कैन सी आई एम नॉट स्टॉपिंग यू फ्रॉम गोइंग फॉर उमरा आई एम नॉट स्टॉपिंग यू फॉर परफॉर्मिंग सला विद कॉन्ग्रेगेशन डोंट टेक मी रॉन्ग डी बट इन शाह विल ट्राई टू design our program and fix a particular time schedule where it will not clash with your salah inshallah now when summer is going to come we can have it you know summer is going to be almost up to 8:00 8:15 yeah yeah even later than that yeah so we can start the class at 7:00 and get over by 7:40 is it okay and that will be 8:00 8:30 in chennai sorry it will be around if it going to be sir at the 5:30 in the morning or 6:00 o'clock in the morning there yeah no problem because i have a class immediately after fajr at 5 o'clock and after that i have a us class generally i have but now since the last class got over we when we start a new batch inshallah we will again suit it to your convenience more than my convenience inshallah it's a little bit of a cooperation here and there so if you are going to cooperate i can go out of the way to ensure that i am always there to be to present myself to conduct the classes And when come winter time, immediately after Maghrib Salah we can have the class. Winter time, when five thirty, we Maghrib will be there, right? So immediately after Maghrib Salah also we can have the class. That will adjust according, and that again day night savings will be changes. I give all that according to your convenience. We'll do it, Inshallah. But we'll make sure that you're not inconvenienced at all. And only forty minutes might take it from me. You really enjoy the Salah, and you really enjoy the Quran. and your connectivity with the book of allah will improve phenomenally inshallah any other questions uh, yes brother i know one minute brother yes sir so you did answer the question will there be recordings yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i missed that now we already have a youtube channel here you will find in the flyer there is a youtube channel called wqtc you can even take the cell phone right away if you have and just click in youtube wqtc it means word for word quran translation classes the moment you click on that you find our audio session video sessions recorded the complete quran right from surah fatiha to surah nas is already recorded there but that shouldn't give you as a reason for not coming to the class are youtube mein nohana baat pe dekh lenge wo zindagi bhar nahi dekhenge baad mein are in emergency yes to do the homework yes then you also have a website word by word quran.org or word for word quran.com you can go to the website and you will find the come we have already uploaded eight seven paras before i came i finished the seven para the eighth para was also ready will get uploaded very soon you can always refer to our website for all your questions are clarified clarified over there and you will get all the quran classes of ours which are taking place not only which are conducted by me but my my students who have become teachers both among the lady we have 140 lady teachers alone 140 alhamdulillah lady teachers alone who teach in english urdu and some of them in tamil and likewise we have about 45 male teachers besides me yeah? and they also got a classes so the complete schedule of all that is there on the website whichever class you like to join according to your convenience is there 
and the website has the complete seven paras already uploaded for your reference to do your homework to see the translation and the youtube is also available now my uh, instagram page is also started so inshallah through all these social media platforms you can get reference and you can learn and understand more but nothing like the live section less like the live sessions okay kind of emergency you visit here and there you can always find that in the youtube inshallah yes among the sister you have any question please do you prefer like uh, all your other students do they like all sit together and take a class online with you or is it like each one does it individually at their own pace uh no if i understood your question right is that session in the session the entire family can sit and watch the session you get it now many of our students they say we connect your program on the television screen in our house and the entire family and sits and watches 40 minutes you want to become a participant in the class participant in the sense you like to also for example i will take one particular verse from the quran and recite and go through the translation word by word slowly both in english and in urdu then there is a uh, people who can raise their hands once they raise their hands then we give them an opportunity then they go through the then they also recite the verse of the quran and give the translation any corrections we will make it there but how do they prepare number one from our website as reference they will go through it or they have the translation english translation or urdu translation of the quran with them then they go through about three or four verses initially seven or eight verses later and go up to even 15 verses later so they just go through the translation and the difficult words which are there in arabic for example alif lam mim zalik al kitab la rayba fihi hudal lil muttaqin okay alif lam mim no meaning you know that zalik al kitab kitab you know means book नहीं लिखेंगे आप अब जाने का आपको समझ में नहीं आता तो आप लिख देंगे दैट बुक दैट यू कैन राइट इन इंग्लिश इन दी मुसाफ इन द प्लेन कुरान अब ला यू नो लाई लाई ला नो ला मतलब नो दैट यू डोंट हैव टू राइट राइट इज अव वर्ड सो डाउट लिखेंगे नीचे या शर्ट लिखेंगे उर्दू में फी ही मतलब इन इट खुदा मतलब गाइडेंस तुम ना मालूम हिदायत है लिल मुतकीन परहेजगारों के लिए मुतकीन के लिए फॉर द गॉड फेयर यू डोंट हैव टू राइट सो जालिकल किताब लारेबाफीन आठ वर्ड में आप सिर्फ दो वर्ड मुश्किल से लिखें जालिका लिखें रैब लिखें यू गेट मीन सो वॉट इज यसेंटेज दैट यू हैव स्कोर्ड इन दैट अब एटी परसेंट विच मीन्स एटी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ड यू ऑलरेडी नो ओनली ट्वेंटी परसेंट या दो तीन वर्ड आप लिखना जरूरत होंगे यू वर्ड लाइक दैट यू हैव टू मेक योर ओन असेसमेंट विच आर द वर्ड्स आई ऑलरेडी नो एंड विच आर द वर्ड्स विच आर फेमिलियर एंड It's easy to remember. You don't have to write the difficult words. Write it. Write once. Write twice. Third time, आपको वो भी याद हो जाएगा. And mind you, only two thousand words you have to learn per day. Ten words. Two hundred hours में two hundred words हो जाते हैं. Yeah, two thousand words अगर आप याद कर लेंगे, eighty thousand words of the Quran you will be able to translate because they're all derivatives of the two thousand words. You understand what I'm speaking? Allah ne aasan banaya. फिर कौन कह सकता है ये मुश्किल है बोलो. and for urdu speaking people it is much much easier hundreds of verses are there in the quran in urdu which you already know rasul malum nabi malum jannat malum jahannam malum malaika malum khamis malum kursi malum iman malum deen malum khabar malum akhirat malum duniya malum pure urdu ke words hain 60% of the words of the Quran are in Urdu. It's only an additional effort to learn the remaining 40% of the words. That's it. आज तक हमारी तवज्जह वहाँ नहीं गई. I'm drawing attention to that. And you yourself after that will start realizing how come I could not take this initiative before. Anyhow, nevertheless, past is past. An opportunity which is knocking at your door, make the best use of it. This is my humble submission to all of you. Any other questions, sisters or the brothers? Sorry, yes, uh, brother Shwe. Is there an English only for the youngsters? Uh, 
English predominantly, but there will also be Urdu because we have a lot of mothers and old uh, uh, ladies. All of them are going to English. Some of them are going to Urdu. They are going to Urdu. They are going to Urdu. Can you do two separate sessions, one for Urdu? No, it's very difficult, brother. But we'll do it together. You won't feel the difficulty at all. Inshallah, we'll go simultaneously. But people who are doing in Tamil, we have an exclusive class separately for them. But for English and Urdu, we take it together generally. And by default, Urdu is not in English. So, you know, we can take it together. And I'm sure the youngsters will not feel anything uh, difficult. In fact, they'll improve their Urdu vocabulary also because most of them have Urdu speaking parents. They will have their own revision. My mother, you know how she taught me Urdu? She said, nothing doing. Besides the Quran, what I have taught you, you will have to learn Urdu. And I also went to a British school of education, a convent school. So you know how she taught me Urdu? She said, you have to learn Urdu, right? You have to learn Urdu, I will teach you Urdu. You have to learn Urdu, you have to learn Urdu, and you have to learn Urdu. This is how she taught me. May Allah bless her, she is no more. So, Urdu has its own value. And our youngsters should also be made to know the language which their parents speak. And that will give them a far more better control to read so much of literature which is found in Islamic literature in Urdu and uh, depth which you find in Urdu you can't find that much in English but we are going with English and Urdu together so all languages are Allah's given languages no language is superior to another but nevertheless this session will be both in English and in Urdu inshallah Is there any prerequisite required like Arabic grammar? Um, you just need to recite the Quran that's it if you don't have to read the Quran, we have some students who just are passive observers. But there is transliteration of the Quran, right? Alhamdulillah, they are being written in English. You can even have that copy. But nobody has an excuse to say, sorry, I do not know this, so therefore I cannot be there. Allah SWT has made sure that all facilities are available today. What were not available at one point of time. Yes, sisters, do you have any questions? All the brothers, any question? Uh, Imran, a quick question. Yeah. The program is for one year, right? From uh, 16 to 17 months. 16 to 17 months. Yeah. Because we have to complete the entire Quran, no? right from Surah Fatih to Surah Nas, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. Where there is a will, inshallah. there is a way, inshallah. And take a firm stand, Shaitan should not come in your way, inshallah. The moment you give him a little space, he finished. And Allah is there to protect us, inshallah. If I too have studied this course, it's not been so easy, it's been a roller coaster, right? It's just a question of commitment, that's all. Cry before Allah and tell him, Allah, I want to read your book, I don't want to read your book, I don't want to read your book, I don't want to read your book, but you help me. کہ اللہ سوال رہا ہمیں محروم کرے گا سچے دل سے اللہ سے دور کیجئے گا اور پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے بین کہا ربی زدنی انما دو دعا تو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی اور اللہ انکریز بھی دی نالیج اس دی قرآن دیا اور پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وہ انلیٹرڈ ہی ڈیڈ نوٹ نو وارٹ ریڈنگ اور ریڈنگ اور ایٹلیس بھی آر سو کوالیفائیڈ ہی واز ایٹلی ایٹ ڈیفرنٹ لیول آر ٹوگیدر بٹ ڈیڈ اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی نوٹ پروائیڈ ہم دی نالیج اف دی قرآن and give him the ability to eloquently convey the message of the Quran before the people and unlettered prophet. Alhamdulillah, we are not there at, at that level at least. So for us, it should be far more easier. But we all need Allah's help and protection against shaitan. And that is what Auz Billahi Mina Shaitan the Rajim. Faida Akharat al Quran, Fasta is Billahi Mina Shaitan. Allah Himself says, when you cite the Quran, seek refuge in Allah from shaitan, the outcast. Because shaitan is always there to distract you. To take you away from my book, be careful. Jazakallah khair. Wa akhir dawana alhamdulillah ala alamin. Jazakallah khair for all of you once again for this patient hearing. May Allah accept from you and from me. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasna wa fi al-akhirati hasna wa qina azaab al-nar. Rabbana atna khabar minna inna ka atas sabir al-alim. Wa tubalayna inna ka atas tabah al-rahim. Rabbi khfir barhum wa atta khair al-rahimin. Subhana Rabbi ka rabbi al-izzati wa maa yasifun. Wa salamu ala al-musaleen wa alhamdulillah ala alamin. Now the flyers that have been given to you, you can take the screenshots and circulate it in your social platforms, in your other contacts and groups. And inshallah, through your effort, a few more people can join in. Inshallah, it becomes a for all of you, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.